Hey, what's up guys? This is Vico, and I'm going to show you how to install a Link JLF from Freakazoid on your Hori Wrap VXSA. Here's what you get in the package. You get an Allen wrench as to screw your ball top back on, and then the two parts of the Link. You get the this part right here, which is the bottom half that stays inside the joystick, and then this part right here, which ball top goes on there. So anyway, here's what I'm using to install. I got a larger screwdriver to take off the case screws which I've already done. Um, this is an exacto knife which I use to take the warranty sticker off without damaging it but if you don't care about that then um, you can just plow through with one of these. Um, using this larger flathead to take the uh, to unscrew the ball top off. I like to use this little screwdriver. I'm going to change the head though, but I just use a flathead. Um, I like to use that to take the E ring or the uh, cotter pin off. And I have that just in case that doesn't work for the cotter pin. So, first thing I did was take the case screws off. You can see right here, there's uh, six of them, one in every corner. Sorry about the bad lighting. You can leave the feet on there. This is the warranty sticker, which, like I said, if you just stick the exacto knife under the corner right there, just peel it up, it just comes right off, and then you can apply it back on. There's no void or anything like that that gets stuck on the case. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've pre gamed that. So once you get that off, Here's the insides. So, all right. So first thing you want to do is take your small screwdriver and put it in here while you unscrew the ball top, which I'm unscrewing here just so you can see. Let's loosen up so there. So that falls off. Just take off the ball and dust cover. Then from here, now what you want to do is take off the gate. So what I'd like to do is just pinch both of these sections right here. And then while you're holding up, just pinch the other two. And then it pops right off. So just remove your gate. And then this, just so you don't have to worry about this wire, just take the whole thing off and set it aside. So now, what you have to do is remove the e-collar and uh, press down on this thing right here. This is the actuator and the spring is under that. So set it so that your stick doesn't move and then press down, Oops. press down on the actuator and then use either a small screwdriver or a set of pliers to take the e-collar off. And make sure you hold this down, otherwise your spring and your actuator are gonna go flying. Okay, so that came off, and then very carefully let this go so everything doesn't go shooting off. <clears throat> okay, so now the stick part will come off freely. You can see it just falls right out. And then in here there's actually two parts. You can see the white, this is called the pivot, um, I don't know, the pivot something. And then in here you can also feel the dust cover. You see that part coming out right there. 